meet Swampletics, and then say goodbye because this is the Magic Conch series. No. Could I have something to eat? No. Could I have something to eat? Yes. This is iConch, my conch locked Iron Man. I'm locked to whatever task the magic conch gives me, without exception. The magic conch is a computer program designed to assign random, challenging, and hopefully possible tasks, but to be honest, I don't know if we've worked out all the bugs yet. The rules are simple. I'm only allowed to do what the magic conch tells me to do. All leading up to one of RuneScape's greatest challenges, escaping the kelp forest. We'll talk more about the rules when we have to. Let's find out what Kanchi wants me to do today. Speak to Sherlock between the Sorcerer's Tower and keep L.E. Fay. Speak to Sherlock is an easy Kandarin diary task. It has no skill or quest requirements, so the magic conch was allowed to assign it. There's only one problem. I'm a fresh account and crossing over into Kandarin requires traversing the White Wolf Mountain. No problem, right? Wait, I'm a fresh level 3 hardcore Iron Man, and there are some big wolves on that aptly named mountain. I came up with some possible solutions. I could gain GP and charter a ship to Catherby. This conch system presents a problem here. When the conch gives me a task, I can't do anything but that task. That includes leveling up skills. It would be tedious to gather the 1.3k GP required to charter the ship without training any skills. I could minigame teleport and travel through some potentially less dangerous options, or, well, fishing trawler isn't even an option, apparently. Or I could just face tank the wolves, with the help of some friends. Conch? Does Mike need to help me pass this mountain without losing my hardcore status? No. Come on! And then I, Conch, set off on the most dangerous task he had yet to complete. No, no, no. Oh man, this is so exhilarating right now. <laughs> oh, bait me, dude. Thank you for following, sir or ma'am. There it is. Sea Shanty 2. You love it. Come on. You like that. <laughs> As it turns out, getting past White Wolf Mountain isn't that hard. There is an entire outer layer that's like completely free of wolves. But the task wasn't over yet. The final challenge still remained. Take the boat to Entrina. What? Take the boat to Entrana is an easy Falador diary task. With our new knowledge of how safe White Wolf Mountain actually is, it was no problem to head back to Port Sarum and complete the task. What did I learn during this task? I embarrassingly didn't know you could go to Entrana without having started the Lost City quest. Now I know. Hey, before we get into the last task of this first episode, I wanted to let you know about the planned halftime segment Pause of it. each of these episodes. Pause it. I... Why do you sound so seductive? I'd like to feature other unique restricted Iron Men. I'll ask you for your name, your account restrictions, then you'll get to talk about some of the biggest challenges that you've already faced or some that you anticipate facing. Finally, you'll share some interesting facts that you've 
learned while playing your account. And of course, you'll totally get to share all of your social media links at the end of the interview. If you want to get in contact with me, a great way to do it is through my Discord server. There's a link in the description below the video. I'm excited to meet you. And fire cape task, yep. Do the quest priest in peril. Oh, come on. I can't do that at level three. <laughs> but he could. Woof. Here we go. Kanchi decided to assign the Priest in Peril quest to me at level 3 combat. Luckily, I had a good resource to study. Alright, let's watch this video together real quick. Settled allowed himself the luxury of training Thieving to get a poisoned dagger to take on the Temple Guardian. I am restricted to not leveling any skills, and that includes Thieving. Magic was also not an option because the Temple Guardian cannot be killed by magic, according to the wiki. One of my viewers pointed me to my greatest flinch weapon available to me at level 1 attack, an Iron Mace. There's an Iron Mace spawn north of Edgeville loved by many low-level Iron Men, so perhaps this isn't news to many of you. It was new to me! With my new friend, I got to work. Eventually, I hit level 5 attack and was pointed to the next flinch weapon placed conveniently in level 31 wilderness, a steel sword. Now it was time for the real grind. Six hours of flinching later, this epic moment finally happened. But Priest in Peril wasn't over yet. The second challenge was the Zamorakian Priest. A special NBC who has three times the regular health regeneration rate. It seemed that flinching would no longer be an option, as my DPS would never be able to match the priest's regeneration. I decided to see if I could take a monk down using the runes I gathered from the magic tutor while flinching the temple guardian. Kanchi, um, I'm wondering, should I buy a, a, an entire pack of water runes right now? No. No, um... Hmm. So are you thinking like a more of a conservative number, like maybe 50? Yes. 50. Okay, we'll buy 50. <gasps> They're safe spottable! Okay. Watch this. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, okay. Joke's over. Joke's over. Joke's over. Joke's <laughs> over! Here we go, boys. Are we gonna get any damage done? <laughs> Should I use a better staff? Yes. Oh. I know you've told me a couple of times that you really believe in this, in the amount of water runes that you want me to have, but do you think I should buy more? Can I buy more? No. What if I buy earth runes instead? Yes. I can buy earth runes? No. Are, are you still, like, on board with, like, being my partner in this? Yes. All right, Kanji. I knew that we could find some common ground here. So were you being serious about those, those uh, uh, answers that you were giving me before? No. Okay, good. Thank you. So I guess I can buy those uh, extra water runes. Yes. Thank you, Kanji. And it was too bad that it didn't work, because I got a bunch of magic levels for nothing. I finally settled on pulling a settled, and had a friend Venom the Monk down for me so that I could do the last hit and get the key. The rest of the quest was easy from that point on. I was required to do rune mysteries to get rune essence as... <laughs> I'm an Iron Man, by the way. So I ended up with level 4 mining at the end of the quest. We are gonna get done. Hey, look at that. Oh, wait a minute. I just got a bunch of prayer experience. Look at this. What did I learn during this quest? I learned about the Iron Mace spawn, the Steel Sword spawn, as well as a Steel Dagger spawn that was ineffectual, so I left it out of my summary of the quest. I learned how frustrating it may have been for Settled to get that final hit on the Priest, because it was for me and Shelly. Perhaps above all, the lesson I learned is that this game mode is absolutely baller fun. I flinched that Temple Guardian for six hours and had a blast with Twitch chat the whole way through. I'm so excited for what more this account can offer. Priest in Peril may have seemed like a random task, but I think that Kanchi had a very specific purpose in assigning me to do it. As I took my first steps into Mauritania, I sensed something aside from the strong smell of dopamine in the air. It was a faint voice beyond the fence. Come.
Uh, oh no! Could I have something to eat? No. Could I have something to eat? Yes. Could I have something to eat? Yes. Could I have something to eat? Yes. <gasps> Please. There he is. Get out of the get out of the swamp, boys. Get out of the swamp. Could I have something to eat? No. Meet Conchi. She's going to be hanging out in my bag for this entire playthrough. In the next episode, I take on the greatest challenge the account has ever seen. because it's only episode two. If you're watching this video on release day, it is currently my birthday. I'm celebrating by eating this cake live on Twitch right now. Also, we're continuing the Conch Man series. Follow the link in the description to join the party. Okay, so I just wanted to say that really quick in, in, in case people clicked away from the video really fast. For the rest of you, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more, it's really important that you support it right now. I don't know if it was good or not. I didn't think that I would ever have to do this, but but please subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the video, and, and maybe check out these other links, the ones that'll serve you best. The links to all those are in the description. If you would like to play conch lock mode, we're currently considering releasing the software to the public, so you're just gonna have to let me know if you're interested. Thank you for joining me on this journey. When I clicked on my first Settled video a couple of months ago, I did not realize that I would be here. Thank you for being some of the few people that actually watched this video. We'll see ya!